Oh, you're Aaron. Hey, nice. What's the ETA in your food? Um, anywhere between now and the next ten minutes. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just gonna. Sorry. And it's here. You're jumpy. Oh my I god! I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was doing something beside you and you went someone's No one hears oh. anyone coming in this game. <laughs> the only ones here. I don't think yeah. really Kate saw a little not, girl looking out a window when you were outside. Are. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Well, he had a wife. Who knows? That's sad. Yeah, he said she died. This place does give me the willies. How did she die? That's a very good question. It's unique. Are you... Singing. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe oh. it wasn't a good birth, yeah. and therefore it's like, my how dare you, song. child? You ruined my wife's body. This is my "Don't <laughs> Be Scared" song. <laughs> yes. I've watched way too much Family Guys. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. One eighty-one. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. One eighty-three. is a plus. This is me. Okay. Okay. Oh no, I'm staying in the own room. Don't get lost. Oh, you wouldn't be staying in your <laughs> if you need no. me for anything. No, 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 no. <laughs> I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, Father, remember the premonition? Yeah. yeah. Her in the chair and mm -hmm. finding her. Then I can help you find your room. Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes. Thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. probably. It's, it's just a hall. So, Jamie invited Erin into her room. Does that say young love? Totally roomies. Oh, yeah. Oh, they were just energy. roommates. <laughs> Big roommate energy. Yeah. Hey, man, just take it out of context. <laughs> just roommate energy. Take it out of context. Your imagination friends. running wild. They're just friends. That's what my parents used to say. <laughs> They're just really close. When you invite your bestie over for the holidays. <laughs> and here we are. Well. With a very conservative friend. It's, um, cozy? My grandma asked and said if she was the right one. Right, right stick. Oh. Mm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure. Witty, witty go up. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? Relationship go up. Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that's a bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. I told you Mark's been in toxic relationships. I told you. <laughs> he looks too much like Drake not to. <laughs> Grove school? What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I going to walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Oh. Shows where you know. You have found something from 18. What is that? Why? Oh, that is going to be. Oh, I feel top, like top. if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah. Hey, man, if you're a lightweight, you just say that. But we're not on the clock. How have not I known you all this time? And not Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Why? Well, I are can't you read. That? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't work yes. up. You think I'm cute? Hmm? I like her. She encourages bad habits. That's exactly what I do. Oh, that's what you see. Yeah. Hey, hello? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll be downstairs, okay? Yeah, cheers, man. Quick, cheers! Oh. oh. Gotta stick on my own if you want to share a lip cooties. Thanks, but I can freeze. Hi there, right? <laughs> That's a strange way of flirting. Where'd it go? Hey man, I'm all for it. <laughs> I am all for I am all for this shit. It's I just feel like that character could be better. See it? Could be better than that. Lip balm. I reckon she's smoother than that. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> shit. Not the asbestos. <laughs> no. Revenge, because good job. <laughs> Oh, she has asthma. I feel like we need to remember this. Yeah. You sure you're okay? Because, yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. 
But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I, I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? I, like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind They're being watched. Mm. That muffled. Dust and allergies and I just need to be more careful. She has asthma. Is oh. sure? Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. She's been, she tried to keep it a secret. So, I sure hope she doesn't yeah. um, die in the gas room. <laughs> That was literally the first thing I thought when you said that. You gonna try that? Yeah, Why it's is perfect, no he's one? Perfectly aged. And no one in any of these it's games has bad. booty. You're not lying. It's budget game. Pickle. Pickle. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Budget allocation. My gaming experience will be improved <laughs> by booty. Yes. Oh. And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat dots. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> nice. Oh. Such a liar. Mischievous. Nah. Ooh, sorry. I thought you meant to thinking you were a cute thing. Great really? Romantic go up. Hey, look. No, 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 Jerry. I was saying to Sophie Ollie, I am all for this shit. <laughs> I am all for it. Make them gay. Yes. Everything I play. Make them gay. <laughs> yeah. Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine, not because I am bashful. Yeah. I swear. Really. Sorry. Didn't mean to make it feel weird. I. I yeah. It's just. Oh, oh, oh. We, mean like we work together, and Charlie is always on me about being more professional, and. I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Err. <laughs> Or that I don't think you're cute too. It's just, um. Oh, they're gonna. Yes. They're gonna. He says, move in. What are you doing? Wait. Uh, oh my god. I, uh. I... Are you. <laughs> Who are you playing as? Oh, you bitch. Oh, you're playing as Eren. I thought yeah. you were. I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just... Oh, that's yeah. cold. That's cold. Oh. Yes. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> yes! Oh, these are both your characters, actually. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, I, did I did good. I did good. This is going to be easy for you. Jamie and Erin kissed. I did good. Who is that? Go. <sighs> no. He Just. sensed the girl on girl action. <laughs> he came sprinting. <laughs> His shoes are equipped for drifting around corners, bro. Do I, uh, something here. Antagonist no, to go we're up. just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Smith. Yeah, yes. This, this place is running on a generator. We need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need. <laughs> can't find my room. I you're fucking, so English. I love it. Sick of it, mate. Our numbers, <laughs> they go up and down. In There's no northerners in this <laughs> game. It's very upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one saving grace of Little Hope, those northern accents. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have all evening. Can we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. I mean, <laughs> I'll never forget. <laughs> At least Xenoblade has Welsh cat Okay. We'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue mind. bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. I like a strong brow. Maybe one of us is blind. <laughs> doesn't know what to Come on, people. Eat, eat. I'm glad you said brow. Well, I'm glad because I, oh, I almost added an end to that. Did I was continue, like, then? <laughs> whoa! Yeah. Definitely. My mum said that to me the other day. Now you know. I like a strong brown. No, she said to me. <laughs> she said these following words to me. Sophie, what is it with you and black men? <laughs> hey yo. And I was like, mother. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> mother I may dearest. have mother, passed. Mother dearest, whatever do you mean? I may have passed comments on a bartender. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, <laughs> Hey, they're, run they're running like, to the boat. Your answer's the same. Hey, yeah, they're running to the boat. They're drifting it off. Where the hell are they going? We are trapped here. Not many. <laughs> no one can bite it.
Her death flag is up because she is now drunk her whore. <laughs> and I want to keep her alive. Oh, oh there's yeah. blood on, on, on the, the mirror. That was yeah. actually really good. I, I oh. That. oh! I enjoyed that. Textures were a bit weird and that's up there. Um, yeah, the textures in this game tend to like pop over the end. It looked like her ankles had been glued back together. Oh. Is she a porcelain doll? Made of human flesh. Oh, he's made a doll that looks like her. Uh, um, me. All I did, all I did, was secure the ship. That was my gameplay. I secured <laughs> the ship. <laughs> right. Make it sexy. Of course. <laughs> I remember my first run. <laughs> <laughs> this, been drinking longer than I have. this ain't this ain't come with no sour cream yep um i don't i guess not yeah so. <laughs> i don't usually use dip with pizza like i also usually don't eat the crust so <laughs> that's why i'm notice, noticing that's yours ah uh, yes It'll be mine <laughs> so if you get to have a go isn't it great? <laughs> I just feel like though that when I do have a go, it's gonna be when like well, shit hits the I'm fan, <laughs> and I'm gonna fuck it up. <laughs> oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Oh, you are playing this budget trick. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress. Or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do I look fucking stressed? Yes. Uh. <laughs> Sir, respectfully, that was a draw. Oh, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing makes a huge difference. Shit. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. <laughs> I also put it on heavy stock. I think we must have pressed the space bar by accident, world. which stopped the stream and started the stream. I should have had one ready for Mr. Which means there's probably times where the street we weren't even streaming, the times where we were. Did you find them? Because, um, I, this, no. this... I haven't noticed I anyone go near the keyboard. I don't understand. Yeah. <sighs> Jesus. Oh, Look, stop tearing around in there like a maniac. Be organized about it. Like this stream, this. <laughs> Blue bag, front pocket. I made a specific mental note of it. Apparently, this iteration of the stream's been going on for 13 oh. minutes. Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I I don't... Actually, I can see... One minute, twenty, two minutes. I can see... Or Jamie. That. I'm sorry. But it's fine. I've got the um, oh. local recording. Are you okay? Yeah, I was looking for Rome and I moved wise. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. Determine go up. Massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if that ain't you really want Why? to smoke. Why, if you're so dependent on your cigarettes, would you not fucking bring, bring some them. cigarettes? Yeah. It's not legal to smoke in bars, so. Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. Oh, I don't think I like my character. Oh no. Find the bar. No wonder he has the world's most most powerful lighter. <laughs> so. The other day, I watched that episode of Grey's Anatomy where someone's on oxygen, they light a cigarette and blow their face up. Fucking hell. <gasps> Probably his lighter. <laughs> Right. I'm just be stomping down the hallways. I need my cigarettes. Oh, ah! Locked into this. Are you worried it will make our other episodes look cheap? They are cheap. Can't be helped. Mm -hmm. This will be the one that people remember. The one that wins an Emmy. Exactly. That's the spirit. Oh, these doors are locked. Me, Erin. I'm going places. Not we're going places. Did you hear that? Another season. Mm -hmm. Let me worry about that. You stick to making sure that my life runs smoothly and I'll make sure you keep working. It's me, me, wow. my, my. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. Wait, I'm going to look at the back. Nope, come back, come back, come back. Nope, let me look at it again. See if we'll play. Sorry. Professor JP Hunter is an author and counsellor with over 20 years of experience helping patients overcome their anxiety and panic attacks. Within this book, you will find a step-by-step -step guide designed to give you the tools you need to find out a, pa find out a 
but find a path out of the maze of anxiety. Following a unique monthly plan, you will learn anxiety-busting tips and tricks to incorporate into your busy daily life. Professor JP Hunter has helped thousands of people manage their anxieties and given them the confidence they need to break down walls and tackle their demons face on. It's a best bestseller. <laughs> I appreciated the reading voice. Thank you. Try to be speedy, but but uh, that is just your reading speedy voice. Speedy with diction. Yeah. All right, all these doors are locked, and I do not know where where to go. You sound like you want to say something, Lever. No, I was just about to say that I'm glad you're actually one of the good readers because you know when women was in secondary school, <laughs> and there are certain people who they could. Oh, painful! Read. I will never forget Island instead of Ireland. Oh. <laughs> Island. <laughs> Oh. This was primary school, to be fair, but still. <laughs> That's sad. Yeah, because whenever they say, "Oh, does anyone want to read out this section or part?" I, my hand will go up straight away. Let me do it. And then the teacher would skip over me, knowing that I'm a good reader, and I'm gonna read it with pizzazz and flair. <laughs> and she's gonna go choose the one Donny who can barely even speak normally, let alone read. So it was like, I was, so I didn't get held back a year. I basically had to redo my G, my GCS, English GCSE in college. Because um, mm-hmm. so I was like shy off the passing grade, which is fair enough. But it was like, cool. So now I have to do this like sort of like redo year in college while I do my, my BTEC in college. And it was just, I, I, hate to, I hate to be that person, but it was just like, oh no, I actually shouldn't be in here. <laughs> I, I just fucked up on a question or two on my, on my GCSE back in secondary as well. And so, yeah, it was like, who wants to read this? Please, for the brevity of this class, let me read it. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I remember, like, the set you was in, you was, like, the smartest one out of everyone in the English class. Like, no one in your English class could read. Fucked it. I fucked it, basically. Yeah. Because yeah. the only reason I was in middle set was because this, when I was transferring secondary schools, they somehow lost Fuck. my records. Your transcripts, yeah. Mm. Yeah, which is annoying. So I then had to do the um, uh, SATs in year nine. I was one of three P people that got an A star. And then I was automatically fast tracked into, not top set, the set above that. We didn't have sets at my school. Did you not? Oh, so. I went to an all girls private school. We didn't have sets because we were all expected to be smart as fuck all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you went to a and by the private school standards, I was um, distinctly average. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but I was good at English. English was my favourite. We did an inspector calls and Pride and Prejudice and To Kill a Mockingbird and the stupid poetry shit. Did you have the anthology, AQA anthology? Yeah, we did okay. the AQA cool. anthology. No, no. Just so I was never so on the same... a fan of the AQA anthology. We all burned it. Everyone burned it. We all burned it. We all burned them off. Ceremoniously. Yeah. Ceremoniously in a ritual. We also we all did this. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, we wore hoods. We also read them uh, of Mice and Men. Of Mice and Men, yeah. Lenny. Oh, what's this? This, look, good for the world. This, look, this looks like a Laura email. Curly. Mr. Hair. Morello, good evening. Thank you allow- for allowing me to uh, contact you directly. Your publisher said that you were very keen to hear from me. It seems we have a mutual interest. I have spent several years constructing the ultimate Holmes tourist experience by faithfully faithfully recreating the World's Fair Hotel. We, we have not yet opened to the public as uh, uh, as there are finishing touches to complete I can, and I consider a man of your knowledge could provide insight that is invaluable before our official opening. Therefore, I invite you to uh, the visit the hotel for the weekend. The where experience I will kill you. Mm-hmm. The experience is designed <laughs> to accommodate groups of five guests. Oh wait, there's five of us. So I extend the invitation to four friends or family of your choosing. I must insist that this invitation be kept confidential until the hotel is publicly because announced. Because I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> until the hotel is publicly announced, so please only invite guests that you can trust to do so. I hope you can accept my invitation. Please reply to confirm your attendance and the four additional guests. Oh, fuck, sorry, I fucked it. Failed his GCSE, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was cold. That was, that, he said that was cold. It again. That was cold. <laughs> there was no need for that. It was the use of fucked it. Um, please reply to confirm your attendance and your four additional guests that you'd like to bring. Should you accept the limit? Mm. 
Should you accept the limousine, we'll pick you up on your guests at 7 p.m. this Friday underneath the railway bridge at the corner of St. Wallace Avenue. Oh, I'm making my drink stronger each time. And the w- and West 63rd <laughs> St. Inglewood, Chicago. My toxic trait. The opposite of dementia. I'm sure you'll find the experience very interesting and deep. Oh, my God. Didn't, didn't, it wasn't scary. <laughs> it wasn't even a joke. It wasn't scary. It was just like a flash. I was like, I didn't expect it. Flash. A flash <laughs> of light. My golden coat <laughs> flew out of sight. That was not a jump scare. It was just a flash light scare. <laughs> I grant them. Uh, thanks. I'd be delighted to come along. I'm sure I can get my wife and two girls to join me. My brother is Francis in town. My brother Francis in town is, the is in town family. at the minute. So that'll make up the five. I trust them all with my life. So no sweat over confidentiality. <laughs> even the death, phrasing. Even death cannot stop me murdering. This is 2022. 14th of <laughs> October. That was not long ago. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. 22. <laughs> Did you see that thing on Twitter that was like my 2022 Spotify wrapped once again? Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. Yeah, yeah. Was, uh, before I saw you retweet it and I didn't even have to listen to the audio to know it was. And then once again, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Yes. Last year, it said to me, you are in the top 1% yeah. of Taylor Swift listeners. And I was like, listen. You listen here. It's been a hard few years. <laughs> I've been going through some shit. You know, speaking of Taylor Swift, when um, uh, the Sonic Twitter takeover happened uh, a couple of weeks ago, it uh-huh. turns out that Amy and Shadow are... Swifties? Uh, Swifties, yeah. Oh, boy. I respect it. You respect it? <laughs> <laughs> People keep making May Day Parade and Taylor Swift edits on TikTok, and I'm like, please stop personally attacking me in this way. Um, so I don't want to admit that I'm lost, but uh, we've looked at this book before. So I think I'm okay. Now that I know that where I am, okay. So this okay. is this is a wing, and then we go out into the wait. No, we go out into the main sort of like square into the gas chamber. Wait, where the fuck? Okay, okay. Which so, makes me very uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. So if an R. Kelly situation happened to either Drake or Taylor Swift, which one would break the public more? Taylor Swift. Drake? Yeah, absolutely. Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. I was hoping so season, maybe I could do more. It's more like, she, yeah. If you heard it from Drake, it'd be like, oh no. I wouldn't be shocked. But it's, uh, <laughs> you wouldn't be shocked? No. This man's harmless for I, the most part. I wouldn't be shocked. He's the guy who will say, like, Sorry, oh, yes. golly, me. I wouldn't be shocked. I think it's just. Taylor think- Swift's fucking clever. I'd be more shocked that she got found out, <laughs> honestly. Aaron, yeah, then, <laughs> then we're doing it. Like, that. she thinks of everything. <laughs> And, and Drake does your laundry. Like, he's the guy that. Like, if That's Drake, not what I was trying to no, say. No, no, no. If Drake was in a horror movie and he'd, sp- he'd spot like the killer coming towards him, he's the guy who would say, like, guys, we I got company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a good idea, Charlie. <laughs> you know who would die first in a film? <laughs> Fucking Grace. Sort of. My friend Grace says yes to everything. Oh, God. She'd be dead. It's the editing. Only the other day I had to tell her not to go in a taxi to the man to the farm. What? <laughs> the man to the farm? We went out. We went out and we were drinking. We the pizza. Exactly. We went out and we were drinking. We went in this tragic club near where I live on a Wednesday night, which is when no one should be in there. Um, oh, I mean real movies. Budget. <laughs> I'm big star. And we were talking to these guys about Something important that 20 to 30 years old. The work that we do, the very important. And they were like, oh, we're truth. multimillionaires. And I was Just like, sure. Because yeah. all multimillionaires are in fucking Rochdale on a Wednesday night. He's like, come to my farm. Next thing I know, Grace in a taxi. And I'm like, Grace, please. Mm-hmm. I found the family. Oh, good. Morello. So recent as well. No, you have that. You've yet to have a single pizza slice. No, I haven't had pizza because I was like, that's your pizza. Yeah, I know, but I'm not getting it to share. Okay. Thank you. I've, I've only just back. received a pizza and it was two slices left. <laughs> so. Yeah, I know, because I was avoiding the pizza on purpose. Mm. Long story short, um, we they got out at a garage and I tried to commandeer the taxi driver to take us home and he said that we needed the men's permission to go home without them. He was in on it. That's what I said. <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, there was no taxi logo on the outside of that cab. I was like, this man. That was not man. a taxi. Yeah. yeah, that was not a taxi. Speaking of, speaking of taxis. They just like, got an Asian man to drive a car to make it believable because yeah. 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 Speaking of cabs and whatnot, 95% of the cars I saw when I was waiting for you to pick me up were Ubers. 
and I didn't realize that. I, I, That's I, I, because Ubers were allowed to access you, and we were not. <laughs> yeah, um, oh, okay. yeah, there, there were like taxi. It taxi was like only, a taxi like... bus lane to get into the coach station, and I was like, I'm not a taxi or a coach. Yeah, but I saw, yeah, but, that, but, I saw but I saw a few regular drivers mm. go through as well. Yeah, but like getting to you is getting. To, Lee, the, when I say these roads are weird, like there are taxi only. There's a lot only, of road works as well. There's a lot of road time. works, a lot of taxi, ah. bus only, taxi only roads um, or routes. Um, or like, oh, routes. usually j- during the day, um, taxis can go through, but j- or during the night, taxis can't or, or vice versa. It's weird. Like, yeah. So, yeah, so, so I was like, yeah, it's easy to get to bus station to pick you up because yeah, yeah like, it's like easy. It's easy when I get in an Uber to go to the bus station anyway. Yeah. But for us, it was just like it wasn't. Oh, okay. You had to like do a world tour of like yeah. <laughs> you see, yeah. have to get yeah. to. And also now, now that Uber drive Uber cars are now marked on the outside, they're actually allowed to drive in bus lanes. Wait, which leave saved us so much time. Leave and tell me something. Um, are Uber drivers marked in London now? I'm not sure. Because when I was living in London, I sent Sophie this the other day. Um. They're not. They're not marked in London. No, they're not marked in London. They're marked in Bristol. They're marked where I live in Manchester too. Marked here is what like. Hey, maybe Mr. They're James basically marked that everywhere that isn't marked. You yeah, London likes to be cigarettes. special. Like even ta- even just normal taxis are not marked either. Like. I will take. I will take a cheesy fry. Because <laughs> I'm copying you with the ah. <laughs> I will take a. Doors with keyholes could be lots and lots using keys. <laughs> <laughs> Open the bar, investigate the noise. I want to investigate the noise. Of that, of that Jackie Chan meme was just like. <laughs> <laughs> what was that noise? That noise was copium. No, wait, someone rang the bell. Oh, hello, Thank key. God. Eric, I found the key. Where is Erin anyway? Anyway, oh there she is. She's gonna get grabbed, isn't she? She's standing at a very prime grab spot. There we go. You stand up and I feel. I feel like <laughs> Ooh, did Why they find I a bar? Check mm. for a gift shop or something. I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is- Oh, because so, so, they keep inhalers in a gift shop. So I missed I missed the asthma attack they shared then. Yeah. Well, the it was very minor, but it was like, take note of this. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. take note of that, yeah. This is the thing. Yeah, she was basically going under the bed. It wasn't really an exasperated like asthma. And then like, the dust just like, yeah. Like, Which like, do met. Yeah. So we've, got fear, so we've got fear of heights, Hello. fear of breathing properly, fear of- uh, Wait. Is that a person or a mannequin? I don't know. That he it is not more like a mannequin. He's not breathing, so I'm not in love with it. That's a mannequin. Wow. See, not I said this. Animatronic. I said this. He's That's gonna like build dead That's people that move. Yep. I love a pack. Because that looks a lot like Jeff. It does, doesn't it? Minus. Oh, the, it my, does. Yeah, minus the crow's feet. Hello. Animatronic. Uh, that. Animatronics and horror go so well together. Five Nights at Freddy's taught us that. Too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Barman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. Oh, <laughs> no fucking way. Nah, I, I'd, be, I'd be leaving the room at Thank this point. Much, my mechanic. So much appreciated. I have never heard any British person refer to cigarettes as a packet of smokes. Packet of smokes. I have. Yeah, day in my life. I have. Really? Okay. Yes! <laughs> it's either a pack of cigs or the F word, so. Mm. <sighs> oh, I went to F a word. different F yes. word then. Yes. Damn it! Six. I've heard six a few times, yeah. Get the no, cigarettes. No, yeah. I can't no, believe that we're spending time. Though I do find that most Addiction people just is say key. cigarettes. The other day I read a trailer. Prairie. And it said, feels surreal, also alcohol dependent and smokes heroin. <laughs> and I was like, this guy is going to kill me as I search surreal. the bar for money. And when it says search the bar, I mean behind the bar. You can't die now, surely. Yeah, no one's dying now. There's a certain. I mean, you say uh, that. No, there's a certain point, and certain characters are going to have. um. 
what's it called? Certain characters are gonna have um ah oh, what's the word? Plot armor, more plot armor than the other. Oh yeah, yeah. L- Little Hope was really bad with this, mm. um, because the Bane character basically could not die. Oh, the plot armor was very because, obvious because, because because of the plot twist at the end. It meant that wait, nothing that happened with this character mattered because he actually couldn't die because it, the ending depended on him being alive. I may Loki be be spoiling, vague, vague, vague spoiling um, Little Hope, but shall I, sh- it, don't play it. Don't bother. Don't bother. It's well, bad. It's terrible. It's, it's not really a warning. It's, it's not really a spoiler. I am I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spoil it right now. It, nothing is real. <laughs> <laughs> nothing is real. So it's Wait, that's Star like Ocean one of the 3. most disappointing horror tropes ever, where the, the storyline was decent and then none of it was real. What, so, so it was what, like so, such a so cop out. Like, it was all a dream sort of thing. Okay, so Man of Medan had the same thing, right? Where nothing was real, but the that was... The threat wasn't real. The threat, okay, the threat wasn't real, but that right. was obvious. So basically in Man of Medan, you had... Um, you had... Oh, shit. Everyone was on a boat. Hallucinogenic. Uh, yeah, yeah, so you had, everyone was on a right. boat, right? But the boat was the site of like some... Uh, an, yeah, an, an, a, a gas attack or something. Um, but it was a, it was hallucinogenic. It was like a leak. Yeah, something like that. But it was hallucin- hallucinogenic in nature. And you, when you go around the boat and exploring like we are now, um, you find all these documents about like, oh, a hallucinogenic drug that causes, you know, hallucinate- wild hallucinations and this, oh. this and that. Um, and so all the monsters you're seeing is like, oh shit, monster, ah, ah, oh no, it is the evil version of my boyfriend, ah, ah, what's going on? And then at the end, you just learn, yeah, it was just the, ga- the residue gas in the boat. Nothing was real. <laughs> But yeah. people would shoot other people over the hallucination. Oh, right. Thing. Okay. Yeah. I was about to say, like, that kind of hallucinating tripping sounds like good old LSD. <laughs> and then when they and did then, the murder, they would realise what they'd done. What they'd done, yeah, oh. basically. Um, in in Little Hope, it was a lot worse because there was no uh, no hallucinogenic, hallucinogenic um, things to be um, found. What it was is that you basically find yourself transporting to back in time to sail, sail, uh, the sailing witch hunts. Oh, and then oh. you'd interact with, with. Yeah, so it was interesting. It was actually but... interesting. You'd interact with. Yeah, the, that's what I'm saying. The yeah. team would in, the, the party would inter- interact with themselves in the past, and it would be like, oh, why does this person look like me? So like every time they do something, <laughs> something would grab them, and then they'd be taken back into the past, and then yeah. they get to watch themselves like in the witch trials yeah. or whatever. <laughs> um, we hold a thought, and, and then, then it turned out to be Nelly's song, "Just a Dream." And yeah, oh. so then. How, how the story works in Little Hope is basically you've got five people, I think a teacher and four students um, on a bus going somewhere and it crashes, right? And so you wake up as one of the kids, one of the uh, kids, um, the, you guys are getting paid, kid. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he's the main character. And we're like, oh, where's the bus driver? We can't find the bus driver. Um, oh, I guess we'll just look for the bus driver um, while we figure out where we are. And so, you you know, you go through all these like little witch, witch trial, sailing flashbacks, this, this and that, and you explore the place. Um, and then at the there are demons as well um, that show up, and then you have to like hide from them. And the demons that you fight are based on how the characters' counterparts in the past died. Oh, so like if their counterpart okay. partner died by strangle or hanging, then the demon that their demon that they were, they were faced is like a hanging like grotesque yeah. corpse. Yeah, it's quite it was it was a really cool concept until the end. Um, you get to the end, and it's, it's a side shot of the kid, the main character, and then something passes by. And it ch- he changes into the bus driver. He was the bus driver all along. None, and the friends, none of them, they were not real. The, the people with him, n- n- not real. It, it, it was uh, survivor's guilt. Oh, and he was having, right. he was having, again, hallucinations. And so, and then it begins to play key moments in the story. Like we play key moments in the story of him just basically talking to himself. Wow. Like all the moments where he was, there was a guy there yeah, that was actually and, like, present. Yeah, not making sense. Or... Yeah. Which is why, it's, so you, when you when you watch it, when you play replay the game, you notice that it, the character the characters who are actually there that are not part of the team, mm-hmm. um, none of them do ever directly speak to any of the other characters ah, or respond to any of the okay. other characters, but the, the main character. Um, so it's sort of like a game you could potentially appreciate more on a second playthrough by figuring out why it was so bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, yeah. very yeah, bad. Yeah. About the whole like scene of witch hunting that just reminded me of a like a video that I saw where it's basically like back in the days of the witch hunting, wasn't it 
basically just a way for cheating men to get away with sleeping with other women. He goes, oh, she's a witch, she charmed me. I am, and, and, I am and, and, pretty sure there was yeah. a storyline yeah. in Little yeah, Hope like yeah. that. Yeah, and then, and then like all of his boys would just back him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there was a storyline like that in Little Hope with one of the hangings. the worst. All right, back to this. 7 p.m., 17th of November, Imagine 2017. Miss Kelly Schroeder, once again, I'd like to thank you for the incredible work you and your team have achieved at the hotel. Extend my heartfelt condolences. What? <laughs> Some of us have. Uh, the accident that befell the skeleton crew on the, la- on, on the lake is nothing short of a tragedy. In part, I feel responsible. In honor of them, I spent the last several months finalizing the finishing touches to the hotel. I'm proud to say that we're almost ready to open to the public. Please allow me to extend my sincere gratitude. I invite yourself and the rest of your team to join me for the grand opening tomorrow at uh, 7 p.m. I promised a spectacular themed evening with a uh, evening with a themed entertainment, including a barbershop quartet. I'm sure you will agree that all of your hard work was worth it when you enjoyed the hotel experience. I wonder if this is another family that showed up that was, would be in the guest book. Probably because this Probably. is this is to 2017. So or this, the this death is, book. <laughs> Yeah, this is five years prior to the other. Yeah, family. yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, Kelly Schroeder was the name, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did, I, did I find my... No, it was lots. Can to get in. This guy is going to do something to me, I'm sure. I've got that stupid Paramore song in my head. This is, is why, why I, I don't, don't leave, leave the, the house. house. Mm, I don't know the rest of the words, but yeah. <laughs> you say the coast is clear. Something, it's something, something. Now. Oh, <laughs> I... I... Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Oh, boy. Oh, no. No one wants to burn. That must be awful. Wow, he was so desperate to light up his cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> just like the guy on Grey's Anatomy, guys. And we were just talking about Salem Witch Hunts. And yeah. That's the most popular way burn burn into the Burn them at the stake. Uh, yeah, he really wanted to light up In England, cigarette. did they burn them or drown them more? Uh, so it was regional based on where you were. I can't remember. I think it might have been drowning in... in... Up here. Yeah. Up here yeah. was drowning. Over in America, it was more burning. Burning. So one of the characters because has two up different here. One of two. Good morning to you all. Ooh. I'm Chester Bell, Assistant Director of <gasps> the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Of course. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported Interesting by name. officers conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman. So <laughs> is fucking Alabama. Beast of Arkansas. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say we have our man. That was so American. Yeah. That threw me off so much. That like, you said Birmingham, Alabama. Alabama. I was like, what? Oh, you've heard of you've heard of Birmingham, Alabama. And I get ready for London, Ontario. Oh yeah. With their own, yes. with their own yeah, with the Thames. What? Really? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, because Are the people that landed there were from obviously. Yeah. yeah so well, just, well, yeah. most of most. I don't suppose you got a set change back there, have you? They went and stopped in a. So not. Oh, they, they, sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. They didn't like the fact that they were being treated so kindly after they were basically kicked out of England. <laughs> it was like, your pagans leave. They go to Denmark. Oh, we'll, we'll like take care of you. We'll make sure you're fine. No, we don't like this. We're going to go. Could you persecute us a bit more, please? <laughs> yeah, See play. I feel like the Pendle witches that got caught were drowned. That's near, like up here. Well, it's more near mine than it is near here, but... Mm. Only one percent of the buildings actually made it to America. Really? Yeah. This. So we. we this craving for the cigarette, sorry, is like pissing me off because I'm like. It's really jonesing for that smoke. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know yeah. what to do about it because I can't open it. Look, it's locked. Maybe you just need to put some more elbow grease into it. Put as many much elbow grease as I can into this joystick. Try harder. <laughs> Maybe if you go back to the front of the bar and try and interrupt him. I did, I did, and he was like, he ignored me, basically. Uh, Where's Erin? That me, I do not trust robots. Actually, what's this? Did I look at at this already? At the hospital, there's this robot that goes around and does a bit of cleaning, and I don't trust it at all. We don't have a robot, we have a lot of Thai women. Yeah. We've got a lot of them. uh, (laughs) It's true, they bring food. Yeah. We've got um, a lot of them Filipinos at my hospital. They're they're, the better nurses. The one on my unit is called Booth. She's not a nurse, she's um, a domestic. 
Oh, okay. Uh, but I love her. Mm. Um, yeah, the rest of the stuff great. I've got tons of aunties at the hospital. Oh, wait, this is us. Charlie Lonick. Janet made Wilder. me laugh yesterday. I can't oh. remember where she's from. I potentially want to say Nigeria, but I could be very wrong there. And someone tried to give her... Uh, like an Indian burger but it was like a potato burger she was most offended she was like I don't want this vegetarian shit I am not vegetarian <laughs> even though I am very much a proud meat eater there are a lot of vegetarian and vegan dishes that she do take I reckon nice. it was probably really nice but yeah. she had a cheese and jalapeno pasty instead and I was like Janet this is also vegetarian there's no meat in a cheese and jalapeno pasty yeah I want it, to it check something vegan, real fast. So these people, these people checked. So the first group of people, Brad Fisher, yeah. Fisher right, checked in 29th of September this year. Right? Yeah. If I go there, that's 29th. That's Thursday. Checked oh, out. Oh, they're American. They're what? American. Remember the American format? No, yes, yeah. that's no, that's yes, yes. Fourth yeah. yeah. of October, 18th of October. So wait, okay, 29th, 29th of September to the 4th of October. Right. Look at how. That's different one, the handwriting two, three, is four, for the five. check-in and how the checkout writing is the same. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's what I, I noticed that as well. But I wanted to check how many days as uh, days it's so it looks like the checkout three, was four. all done by the same five day person. five days. Well he said the in the letter it's a five day experience. So they should all be there for five days. Yeah. Not, and they're, they're, yeah, but yeah, because them. the second group start the next very next day and they're there until the eighteenth. Uh so that's Almost two weeks. That's what. That's what. Seven. I mean, cl- I mean, clearly, that's thirteen no, days. Yeah, because clearly none of them made it out. Because if you look at the checkout, they were all written by the same person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what we were saying. Yeah, nineteenth of October to the twenty fifth. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six days. Five, six days. Yeah. So we've checked in now on the twenty sixth of October. Apparently, Keys is well busy. Really? Mm. Well, it is a Saturday. Well, well someone that we know that works there is like it's so busy they can't even tell if Evie's there okay alright oh, the, the Xbox is blowing heat up my dress that I don't need <laughs> <laughs> has it gone well, apart from that has it gotten cooler because it's gotten cooler no me at least. okay cool, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay well then where's it? okay I know I, I'm gonna say that I'm stuck I don't want to have to turn to a walk through. And his breathing is annoying. Yeah, his breathing is. <sighs> <sighs> He's definitely a smoker. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. I think. I I th- thing is, I only hear this. I, on, I only hear the breathing thing when I was playing as him. To be fair, so that actually might just be a detail. It's yeah. probably smoke and it's as... also really awkward because it's. I suppose I should be thankful. It's just my super. That's what bothered me about it. Yeah. So when you can't see his face, it's not as annoying. And then when you see his face and it's just not moving, he's just doing a heavy breathing, just like, again, what is it? If you're not a game made that year, you can do better than this. I don't want there to be a flipping, like, check to see how much how much I've been running around as Charlie <laughs> and then him die because of it. Imagine. You overworked those You've ones. overworked him. Oh, hello. I was like, ah, oh, yes, progress. Nope. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. What is this? Oh yeah, because he has a card key, so that can open up a lot of places. So if you go back to the bar, you go back to the register and use that. You're right. You're right, you're absolutely right. Progress. So close. I need to remember where the fucking bar is. Probably here, I think. Let me vault over this fucking bar. <laughs> Can you imagine if he wasn't there? Oh God, no. I thought he wasn't at first. Oh, so I didn't realize the RT, the RT prompt. Fuck. That's all that so what? Next round's on me. Me what? Bouncing my chair, me. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't bouncing before. <laughs> this happened to bounce at the same time that opened. Get the cigarettes. Where are they? Oh, I've got the money. Okay, cool. Yes! 
Daddy. Uh, uh, yeah, she yes. has. Oh, addict. I wanted to get stuck. <laughs> you got your Oi. wish. Oi! Oi! Oh, no, 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 please, come on, no! You know what? You'll be better for it. Don't turn back on. <laughs> Find a way to get this. Oh my god. Examine. Oh. No. No, please. I'm having a really shit day. And you've just made it worse. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I don't think that's God's doing. No. Oh. oh. <gasps> that wasn't the robot. No, I didn't like it. What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <sighs> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes! Right, you. That's it. I'm gonna go and get my key grip, and they are gonna kick the shit. I'm gonna get you. Mark. Hey, Charlie. Nah. It wasn't. Thing you. is, it wasn't even her. Dinner time. We should get everyone out. That's what I'm saying. That's okay, why I said nah. In. Thing is, I was like, it's probably going to be her, but it wasn't her. King Pry Bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? See, Jamie had good instincts about using the body system because it's only when you are alone. Yeah. That was fine. Oh, <laughs> it's your turn, Sophie. It's your turn. Ooh! Finally! Okay. It's the John Drake who's here. His shape up used to be a bit more cool. Hey! Didn't see the barber before he struck the day. Nah. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get a shot in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting. To be fair, they both look like they could use some conditioner. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. She looks like she could use a skincare routine. She looks like she what? could use Nothing. Just give me some a lightning no, up. Good to go. She I'm needs a stress relief. Nothing. Either that or she's she just naturally aged yeah. that milk. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Damn, look really? at the greys in her head. I love that she's like, I'm slagging you off, but at the same time, I know you so well. <laughs> Fast for a whole week before you turn down that job offer, all because Faff. you have to take one Faff. extra train to get there. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, right stick, right stick. Thank you. I turned down that job because that would have left you alone with Charlie. How cruel do you think I am? I'm being serious. So am I. Immature go up. I'll drop it. Great. Let me it gives him immature one. vibes. That's what I'm saying. Like he's I like to play. Drake. Can't he's go down. Drake. I like to play true to the character rather than my own preferences. Barely know him. <laughs> I know him. <laughs> you look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Romantic go up. Marginally. I'll take it. Mark. Kate go up. Why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet <laughs> or selfish. See what I mean? Or both. Toxic. I'm intrigued. Before we... Look, can I say something? What, if, what is on your mind? I agree that we're sticking to just the job. <laughs> right. Sincere. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. I can't. This is just proving harder than I thought. I don't want to be the one to. And I quote, to accept the reality that this did not and will not work. Sound familiar? Just because use his own words against him, I support <laughs> it. Yeah. Let's go try harder. Relationship go down. Oh, try harder. Deservedly, Look, I feel. Let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. 
My arms are not short. <laughs> find a good location Where's to shoot and find a way to the second balcony. A cool angle. Let's said find a way up there. <laughs> I wish. How's the new place? Use Mark's camera to show for photo opportunities. Like the camera's reticle will change color when aiming at aiming at a photo opportunity. Whoa, there, Bucko. I was just checking for a light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Like no, oh, she wants a safe place. Right. Sometimes there's like nothing in it, but okay. Time. Other times, it makes for some weird ass rules. I was worried you'd be therapy. sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop. Or maybe we should just add this topic to our man. It's it's the um list. Jessica and Eric You're probably thing again. Right. From last from uh, uh, House of Ashes. They were married though. Was it Jessica? I don't know her name, but yeah. I know you mean. Rachel, that was it. What's Rachel? Yeah, Rachel. So if Dumek catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So maybe we should take care. Did not like that. That was loud. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right. Let's get the yeah. out of me. <laughs> you don't sound scared. <laughs> what are we looking at? Are we looking at are we looking at that book that's like on top of the Yeah. Police, police. What? Oh, police force. Police this town by police series. Yeah. There's gotta be a way through. It's just got Look at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Uh, nah, nah, you gotta get that authentic. This here, this house has been here since the 1800s sort of thing. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. Rod is gonna Shut set in. Right, there, see that key? What key? Oh, that key. Find a way through. Maybe through the door that's in front of you? If it's not locked. No option, no option to open it, just to inspect. Island beaches with dead fish, animal. Always the flash. Danny Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? You taking a survey, you're trying to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? <laughs> well... Maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Say the name, Henry Howard Holmes. There we go. Yeah. Holmes. Oh wow. Because he was numero. So this guy is actually meant to be a natural person. First, the guy invented the trial. He set the benchmark, you know. Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. Do you think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. Bearing updated. Mark and Kate found a tape of Manny Sherman being interviewed by Agent Monday.
Oh yeah, he's just an actual serial killer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I me- I remember when this first got announced. I was like, oh yeah, like it's gonna be based. On- it's gonna be based on the H H Holmes killings. Mm. But I never really knew much about him other than you know that. Locked door upon locked door. Oh, he actually had two kids. So you got a camera in your hand, and what's that on the left? It's on the left deep pad. Hmm. Oh, how, how did Holmes get caught? Holmes well, 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 let's. I reckon we'll find out in the game. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about the game. I'm talking about in real life. Oh yeah, but I reckon we'll find out in the game too. What's that? Take it for a bit. Okay. Please, and thank you. I've been up for a long time. Joseph Morello. That was one. That was the guy who came to the house. Was he the devil? The truth behind America's <laughs> first serial killer. Since investigating, since his first book in 2002, Morello has been fascinated by investigating serial killers and none intrigued him more than H.H. Uh, Triple H. Uh, in his latest paperback, Morello examined more than 15 years of his own research and writing, separating fact from fiction to provide evidence from the truth behind, about the truth uh, behind the historic case of America's first serial killer. Was he the devil? So did he just kill the family of the guy who wrote a book about him? A book about him? Probably. Probably. Because it's an easy way to lure them there. Yeah, very easy way. You know, I just realised being in this house is the first time I've been comfortable in my last four hours. My hotel room was kind of cold. I keep on been trying to look for the And when there's, there's something been, back here. Basically from 12 o'clock onwards, I have been in nothing but coldness. Because <laughs> even the coach was cold. I feel like I'm in a foreign country. <laughs> Okay. And I have been out of my house. Like when I get back to my house tomorrow, it'll be freezing. May fart and freezing. I need to wash my uniform and dry it before Monday, and that's just not going to happen. Oh. Even though scrubs dry fast. Oh, I made sure that my clothes were all ready for me. We'll when you're back in work. I'm wearing that bag, so I've come from work. At when, Monday. Uh, no, leaving. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, all I have to do is iron my clothes. When, when are you back from work? Uh, Wednesday. Oh, straight up Wednesday, okay. I do not iron my scrubs. Because I hate them. See, not me, I hate them. Because I've got quite pushed up, pushed up clothes. It just irks me. To be fair, they dry pretty. Quick. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've worn scrubs a few times. I hate From them. the good time, Why Chicago 19. Why would they not 19. be stretchy? You'd think they'd be stretchy. Aw. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Happier times. Potentially. Puts it back in his sacks. Yep. Was this whole room? No, wait. No. No. She had a different colour bedding. Okay. Well, you from the crack in the door, you saw the bedding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know the bedding. Mm, nice bedding. I love it. It's a it was good colour. Just a natural, a natural eye. All right. Given that it's half two. Yeah. We're going to stop it here.